this problem we have a function and we have to find the length of this arc here that is drawn in the picture. So the arc length will be have to found, has to be found from 0 to 3. So the formula for the arc length is the definite integral from a to b of the square root of 1 plus the derivative squared dx. So typically in these problems, the first thing we do is we find the derivative and we try to rewrite the expression inside the square root in a convenient way. And this problem, a is going to be 0, and b is going to be 3. And this comes just from the picture. We're going to integrate from 0 to 3. Okay, let's take the derivative. So y prime is equal to, so we'll use the chain rule here. The 3 halves comes out front. So 3 halves, the 2 thirds hangs out, and we get x squared plus 1. Then 3 halves minus 1 is really 3 halves minus 2 halves, which is 1 half, times the derivative of the inside function, which is just 2x. This is really convenient because the 3's cancel, and so do the 2's. So y prime is equal to 2x parentheses, x squared plus 1 to the 1 half. So now let's go ahead and square this. So y prime squared. So squaring everything, we have 2x. And then this piece here, x squared plus 1 to the 1 half. Squared. And I put it in parentheses just to show you that we're going to square each piece. So when you square the 2x, that turns into 4x squared. And when you square the second piece, what happens is you multiply the 2 and the 1 half. So they cancel. So you just get x squared plus 1. And it turns out we can actually distribute the 4x squared now. So 4x squared times x squared will give us 4x to the fourth, and 4x squared times 1 will give us 4x squared. So this is y prime squared. So we're almost there. We need 1 plus y prime squared. So I'll do it over here. So let's go ahead and write that down. So 1 plus y prime squared is equal to 1 plus, well, we just worked out this. So this will be 4x to the fourth plus 4x four squared. And we have to take the square root of this and integrate it. So there's a trick. Let's write it with the highest exponents first. So 4x to the fourth plus 4x four squared plus 1. And the goal usually is to write this as something squared. Well, it turns out that this problem is no exception. This is 2x squared plus 1, and the whole thing is squared. And you can check this. If you square the first piece, you get 4x squared to the fourth. If you multiply 2x squared times 1 and double it, you get 4x squared, and 1 squared is 1. The formula we use for this is a plus b parentheses squared. So you square the first one plus 2ab plus b squared. So that's how you can easily uh, check that this works. All right, let's go back to our formula now. So s is equal to, so we said a was 0. That comes from the picture. Likewise, b is 3. That also comes from the picture. It's the x values, left to right. And then we have the square root of, and we have this 2x squared plus 1 quantity squared. Beautiful stuff. So this is equal to 0 to 3. Now, I should mention that normally when you take the square root of x squared, you actually get the absolute value of x. So here, we're actually going to get the absolute value of 2x squared plus 1. However, it doesn't matter because 2x squared plus 1 is always going to be positive, so we don't have to worry about it. It's important, though, so sometimes it does happen to where you get an absolute value here and you need to deal with it.
In this case, we were OK. Now we can integrate everything using the power rule. So we have 2x squared. So we can add 1 to the 2 and divide. So that'll be 2x cubed over 3 plus, and then integrating 1 gives us x. And we're going from 0 to 3. So this is equal to, so we plug in the 3 first, so it's 2 thirds times 3 cubed plus 3. Wrote a little bit differently there. Decided to write the 2 over 3 is a uh, fraction out front. And then minus, then you plug in 0 for all of the x's, and that gives you 0. So this is equal to, so these 3's cancel, so this gives us 2 times 3 squared plus 3. So that's 2 times 9 plus 3. So that's just 18 plus 3 which is equal to 21. So 21 is the length of the arc from 0 to 3. I hope this video has been helpful.